I'm Joanne, and I'm a retired auto worker. The hoarding has pretty much taken over my life. It's like it has more power than I do. I'm Elaine, Joanne's sister-in-law. I am very concerned that I know it's a non-healthy situation. She has a narrow space in the living room that goes to a chair. I eat in the chair, I relax in the chair, I sleep in the chair. It's like my whole life is in the chair. I'm Ed and Joanne's my mom. My mom spends the majority of her time shopping and sitting in the chair watching TV. I figure if I stay home and watch TV, I'm away from stores, I'm away from things where it tempts me. But if you're only going to sit in a chair morning, noon, and night, you actually do not have a life. If my mom does not clean up the house, I am going to call Adult Protective Services on her. I would lose my home and everything that I have. I'm Caden and Julian's my grandma. He said, Grandma, can we clean your house up? We tried to clean up in the kitchen. We went into the kitchen and we filled a couple of garbage bags. I tried to tell the both things out. Want we'll to put this way? Yeah, go ahead. My grandson was more encouraging than my son was because my son would put a criticism in there. The first time we tried to clean up, she didn't want to get rid of anything. There was a 14-year-old Danish. I went throw her in a bag. She said, no, 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 keep this. I was like, ma, it's from 1998. They did a very good job. And I turned around and filled the space up again. It felt like banging my head up against a wall. It didn't matter how many times I actually went over her house to clean. She was just going to do it over and over and over again. I feel guilty because I let them down. I finally came to the conclusion that she needed some major, major help. It breaks my heart to see her live the conditions that she's living in. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. My name is Geraldine Thomas. I'm a certified professional organizer specializing in chronic disorganization and hoarding. Tell me real quickly how you would like your family to be involved. Stay outside. Stay outside. No, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. The thing that strikes me is what a difference there is in Joanne's personality and her surroundings. She's vibrant, sparkly, and just seems to have a lot of joy in her life. I think with no further chit chat, let's get started. Are you okay. ready? Ready. Oh, oh. Joanne? You keep saying that you want to help your grandma, right? And you want a job to do? Yeah. Well, why don't you help your grandmother by opening these bags and asking her what can stay and what she can give away? <coughs> OK, what about this? Uh, you can that, give that actually, away. Actually, that's broken, as holding stuff up. And was saying she's keeping it. No, yes, but she's saying no, no, no. This. You can toss that, too. She didn't want to keep anything. So Seems like clean. you're not attached to any of this, Joanne. Now, I've, I told you I've given up. I'm, I'm ready to just let go. So I made a promise to myself that if I started this, I would finish it. And I also owe it to my family. Jump, guys, OK? Thank you. You sure you want to keep that? 
Yeah. I was thinking of going out and, and buying one, but I didn't know I had that. OK. Ed is fearful that his mother is still clinging to her old ways. Are you worried yeah. that it's going to start accumulating again? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely. OK. Definitely. So this is really normal. Mm -hmm. And by the amount of stuff that she has let go, right. I feel really confident that your mom is turning the corner with this. She's let go of plenty of stuff. She now has lots of room in her home for things that she really wants to keep. And one of the things that both of you guys do really, really well is you guys really do say things in a very respectful, loving way. So carry on. You're doing yeah. a great job. Three days ago, I stepped into your house for the first time. It was not safe. Not safe for Caden, not safe for you. At this point, the house is safe, but you need to see it for yourself. Are you ready? Yes, I okay, am. OK, let's go. Here we go, Caden. <laughs> Come on in. All of us? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Come on over here. Well, Joanne, you really got involved, and you told me that you were motivated to change the way you think, the way you live, and the way you keep things. We hauled away 17 dump trucks full of trash and two trucks full of donations. The fact that she saw the threat of her grandchildren not being able to come over to the house has gave her that insight to be able to see some of the things that need to get done. Do you think it's now safe to bring Caden over here? Yes, oh, yeah, it absolutely. is. Caden, you want to go see the rest of the house? Yes. Go to it. My grandson has tons of space where he can run around. Today is the luckiest day of my life. I have never had so many people care so much. Joanne is the dream client. I feel like she reached out for help. She's motivated. It's not cured, but I do think Joanne is going to learn to manage hoarding. Get back up on the bed. See how comfortable it is. So excited to have my grandson be able to come into my home, stay overnight, just have a good time together. My grandma is the best grandma in the world. and I need to quit being a, a person that just sits in a chair. Instead, go out and, and meet people or do something. This is a rare case where someone has fully embraced the treatment. She wasn't defensive, and she trusted the process. I can't wait for grown-up base at me. Thanks for being a fan of Hoarders and subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.